Hi, my name is Cassie. I'm the manager here at King's Row RV Park in fabulous Las Vegas. And what we're bringing you today is a video on how to properly dump your septic tank at an RV. So whether it's a rental or you're just new to RVing, welcome. It's not as hard as it seems. The first time I had to dump my tank was at a Jimmy Buffett concert with about 18 rigs behind me. And they were all screaming because I wasn't going fast enough. So in order for you not to have that experience, we're shooting this video to show you how to properly dump your sanitation without any spills. And of course, here at Kings Row, we have a maintenance staff, so if you have any questions, please ask us. But in just in case, if you aren't here at Kings Row, we're going to show you how to do it properly. This is my lovely assistant, Perry. Hello, Cassie. Hello. Today we're going to teach you how to use our dump station. Whether you're an old school motorhome RVer or this is your first time, don't be worried. There's a way to do it that makes sense for everyone. So that way there's no messes. The objective is to dump your, dump your tanks without having any problems, any kind of spillage. So if you're ready to start, let's get going. So the first thing we want to do is talk about safety. The best thing to do is have gloves because you're going to be dealing with some not too pretty things. So we want to make sure Perry's got the best things you can have. Those are the rubber gloves. Um, and then you want to locate where the sewer hose is. A lot of times with El Monte's, they're underneath the rig and it's a pipe. But for this sake, we'll show you this says sewer hose. It'll be towards the back, usually on the driver's side. First things first, you want to locate your sewer hose. There's two ends, and you want to make sure that your sewer hose is in good condition. If there's any holes or anything like that, then there could be interactive fluids, and you don't want that. You just want to make sure that everything from beginning to end flows nicely, and you don't have a problem. In the ground right here, there is a hole. You're going to be placing this end right here inside the hole, and then Perry is going to be hooking up to the motorhome. At the end of this uh, hose right here, you see these little teeth? You want to make sure that the teeth align correctly with the hose end that's attached to your motorhome. Perry will remove the cap now. So those teeth are how they secure on properly. And then the hose has something very similar that you align those and then slide to the right so that way the little nubs are secure. And then first things first, you want to take the black tank first. Black kind of means poo. I have no other word for it. So, so you want to do your, your fecal matter first so that way it can flush out of the hose. And then you do your gray tank, which is your water that you use for like washing your sink or in the shower. So that way it washes all the matter that's in your hose uh, down the drain and you don't take anything with you. So go ahead, Perry. You just usually pull that little lever right there and it opens up. You want to make sure that everything is nice and flat so that way there's no kinks in the hose. And then putting a little weight right here so that way the, uh, the hose doesn't go ajar and that way things don't end up around or outside of the unit. And we actually in the past have had people that have just lined up and forgotten the hose and just dumped in the middle of the street. So that objectively is what you don't want to do. Don't smell that good either. It doesn't. It's not a pretty sight and I can tell you your maintenance crew will not love you for it. <laughs> so Okay, it's drained. So there you go. Now it's drained so you close that and now you're going to go to your gray water. If you ever get confused about which one to pull first, usually the bigger hose is the sewer hose and then the smaller one is the water. So usually your water hose is about two inches in diameter and your sewer, the black, is about four inches. So that's a good way to tell. Same thing here, you wanna let the water drain completely. What Perry just did is now he's moving the cleaner water out and it's pushing all anything that's residual in the hose into the unit or into the sewer, so.
All right. And while we're doing this and waiting for it to drain, one thing we could talk about is disposable wipes. Disposable wipes, although they say they're disposable, they really aren't that good for anything. So if you do use disposable wipes, we strongly recommend that you throw them away as opposed to uh, flushing them. Um, besides that, if you're new to RVing, you can get chemicals that break up um, because if you decide uh, or if you neglect washing your pump or getting all of your uh, tanks clean, then what can happen is that the fecal matter sits inside the tank and it gets dry and it turns into cement. And that, of course, leads to outrageous smells. And then if worst case scenario, you have to drop the tank and uh, or replace it in order to, to get rid of that smell. Um, so the, and it really drops your resale value on your RV. So you really want to make sure if you're new to RVing that you check your tanks, check the levels, and get everything out that you should at least, what, once a week? Once a week. Yeah. And, um, and we'll even go into um, uh, how to wash out your unit, wash out your tank. Basically, it's like a detox for your sewer system for your RV. And that'll be the next step. But you don't really want to do that if there's like 18 people behind you waiting to dump because it takes a few minutes. Once that's empty, go ahead and close the gray tank. It shouldn't take very long. You'll hear it more than anything when the water stops. You can go ahead and detach the hose. And then find the cap. Yep. And then same thing, these little teeth right here, you want to line along the nubs and then slide so they're nice and uh, secure. So Perry, why do you want to keep the hose facing up right now? So none of the backwash will drain back on the street. Of course. All right, we'll so lift it up, make sure it's completely drained of all gray water, and then we can begin our rinse. The objective here is that way we're getting rid of any debris that's still in the hose. So you want to wash it off. You want to make sure that you use a hose that you don't use with your potable water, your drinking water. You want to use a hose that's just designated for the sewer end of things. Because otherwise that's cross-contamination and that's nasty, right? Like, yeah, like this one. Yeah, exactly. So one thing that you can do if you're, if you're RVing or you plan to RV for the future is just have a hose designated for that you can mark it with some like electrical tape so that way you always know not to use it for the city water so once you're done making sure that there's nothing left in the hose so you don't take anything with you we're just going to go ahead and shut that off and then same thing applies you want to make sure all the fluid goes down into the sewer drain so once you're done you can go ahead and remove your hose and then we're going to go ahead and stick it in here so that way you don't get any kind of contamination inside your compartment if you have an RV. And if you're from El Monte, you're pretty much done. You can uh, just start to button everything up. For those of you who are new to RV, we're gonna show you how to wash everything out and flush your tank. And that's something you wanna do at least, what, once a month? Once yeah. a month. So the next thing we're gonna do is fill up the water tank. All right, so now we're gonna move on to finding the city water hookup. So if you're renting a motorhome, you're probably good just dumping the unit. And this is more for if you're living in the unit or if you own the RV. This motorhome's a little bit different in that there is a tank flush option and then there's a city water connection. So if you're doing a tank flush, basically what you're going to be doing is uh, hooking up to the flush, hooking up to the water, and letting the water circulate through the unit. So that way it's wiping any debris or anything like that. Um, if you don't have that option, what you can do, like you said, um, is uh, hook up the hose and then let your drains open. So that way you're basically just creating a circulation. So the water's just pumping through the unit and kind of washing anything out. So right now you're in tank fill position. And if you want to go into city water position where you're taking on water and that will activate your city pump so that way you can pump in water into your tanks. And then when you're done, go back down. So that's pretty much it. You do want to use a clean water hose for this one. 
so that you can um, so you make sure that everything's nice and clean. Well, that wraps it up for us here at King's Row. Thank you so much for watching. Just remember to keep the sewer cap secure and locked in place and also make sure to lock up your panels so that way you don't lose anything going down the road. Thank you so much, Perry, for your lovely assistance. You're welcome, Cassie. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Have a safe travel. Thanks for watching us here at King's Row.